There is nothing more comforting or delicious than roast chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and all of this without heating your entire kitchen, using your instant pot, and everything is on the table in under an hour. I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. It's so encouraging to read your comments and get your feedback. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for further videos and more of my tips. Hi, I'm Stella V. And today I'm going to show you take a whole chicken and using your Instant Pot, instead of roasting it in the oven for a few hours, you can cook this in under half an hour. I was inspired to cook the whole chicken in the Instant Pot by my trip to the market on Monday in Chapala. This is where I buy most of my poultry. It's fresh, it's delicious, and they do all the work for you. You can get your breast filleted, you can get scallopini, you can get whole chicken, quarter chicken. And you can have chicken any way you want. He was prepared to chop this all up for me, but I had to stop him because I want to do this the entire chicken and show you. The chickens here in Mexico are a little different. They're a little more yellow. I believe that is because they're fed on corn and they're absolutely tasty and fresh. It's a simple roast chicken. So all we need is a chicken, some olive oil, a few aromatics, and a couple of cups of chicken broth. I'm liberally dosing the chicken with some olive oil and we'll be adding seasoning, salt and pepper liberally. Garlic salt for added flavor. I like to put a little smoked paprika. It gives it a really nice color and it also adds a depth of flavor. Just an extra little touch. I've crushed up some garlic and I will be inserting those just under the skin. Again, we are layering flavor, flavor, flavor. I flipped them over and we're going to do the same to the other side. And you can see there's no need to truss the chicken or use any kind of kitchen twine. We're going to be placing the chicken in the trivet in the pot. The only other piece of equipment you'll need is a little trivet, anything to make sure the chicken is lifted off of the bottom of the pot. I'm adding two cups of chicken stock to the pot. The trivet is in place and now I simply have to put the chicken on that trivet. Once you've done that and you've washed your hands, I'm adding a selection of fresh herbs, but you can add a selection of dried herbs as well. I've got rosemary, thyme, parsley, and even some sage. And there you have it. We put the lid on, making sure it's on to sealing position, and I'm going to pressure cook this bird for 28 minutes. Doesn't that look wonderful already? The Instant Pot has completed the 28 minute cycle, and now we're letting it naturally release for 10 more minutes. That part is almost completed, and we'll be taking that lid off. We're opening up the valve just to let any remaining steam escape. Once the silver button goes down, it'll be safe to open. That chicken is beautifully cooked. The herbs have made sure that there's a lot of flavor into that. If you have an air fryer lid, 
we're going to be using that now to just brown the chicken for about five minutes. If you don't have the air fryer lid, you can simply put it into your oven under broil for five minutes and it'll give it a really nice crispness to it. That's what I love about the Instant Pot system. It makes cooking absolutely easy, effortless and delicious. Now that we have the lid on, I'm just going to put air fry for five minutes. And with the air fryer lid that I have, you have to remember to press start. The five minutes is over, we've lifted the lid, and now we'll just pull the chicken out onto a platter and let it rest for 10 minutes. Moist, plump, tender, fall off the bone, this chicken smells and looks like it's been roasting in your oven for over an hour, an hour and a half, and yet 28 minutes in the Instant Pot is all it took, and a few minutes to release some of the steam. The extra browning step using your air fryer lid gives it that beautiful crispness that you look for when you take it out of the oven. While we're waiting the 10 minutes for the chicken to rest, and I've got that beautiful broth with all the beautiful drippings in there, let's make some mashed potatoes. I'm adding four or five potatoes that I've cut into one inch pieces and I'm simply going to drop that into that beautiful broth. All we need are four minutes on the Instant Pot and we're going to have fabulous mashed potatoes to go with our chicken. The four minutes is up and we'll just release any more steam that's inside that pressure pot. Four minutes, our potatoes are done. This is truly so, so simple and we love the fact that we can make everything in one pot. Perfect one pot meal. And while we're going to be mashing our potatoes, I've got another tip for you. We all love gravy with our chicken and mashed potatoes, so I simply put a little bit of cornstarch and some cold water. I'm going to be adding that to that beautiful chicken stock. Cancel the pressure cook and put the saute function on. And we will have a wonderful bubbling gravy in no time. We're ready for our finishing touches. The chicken is resting, the gravy, you can see the gravy is bubbling and getting nice and thick. It'll be delicious on the chicken and mashed potatoes. Ready to mash our potatoes. I always mash my potatoes by hand. It gives it a wonderful texture. You may be tempted to use a hand blender, but I would strongly suggest you don't. It really makes it into a paste rather than that wonderful fluffy potato texture. A few simple additions, salt of course, and I have some sour cream. I like to add sour cream to my potatoes and also a few chives. Make sure you taste and season the potatoes. There is nothing more comforting or delicious than roast chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, and all of this without heating your entire kitchen, using your Instant Pot, and everything is on the table in under an hour. I just want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. It's so encouraging to read your comments and get your feedback. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for further videos and more of my tips. And in the description, there's a safe link to the recipe. Add your email and it will be sent to you immediately. Hi, come cook with me because I'm Stella V. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe, leave a comment, tell me that you subscribed and I'll reply.